Kowd Art, Hina Koto, hello and welcome back to more FTL. Today, I just want to quickly start off this episode by making a cool little announcement if we go ahead and head over to our Zoltan Cruiser here, the Adjudicator. We got the manpower achievement, well, well I got it off camera. Actually the last session that I did, kind of privately there, yeah. We've got the Zoltan B now, so that's what it looks like. But we're not here to play with the Zoltan B, unfortunately. Today we're going to play with the Osprey, the Federation A. So let's just talk for a second about how you get this ship and its features. You can get this ship by defeating the boss, beating the game. Quite an easy prospect if you do it on easy. Uh, I can understand how, you know, first time players have real difficulty with the boss. But yeah, beating the boss for your first time gives you the Federation Cruiser. Let's just talk about these features here so it's actually pretty standard we've got all of the subsystems installed already some oxygen engines of some level one shields we've got a two layers of weapons there we've got a med bay and then we've got this very cool thing here the artillery beam this is what makes this ship unique this artillery beam here this is basically a, a weapon that we can't really control that fires from the ship and it fires faster depending on uh, how much you upgrade it a very, very powerful weapon once you get that powered up to that 20 second cooldown there. Bit expensive though, so... But yeah, this is a good thing to get going. So anyway... Also as well, I've got the B of this, but... Yeah, we're going to be playing with the A, so let's go ahead and rename this puppy. What are we going to call it? I've got my names down here. I think I was going to call it... The Organ. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so we've got four crew members here. We've got Ohm, Notch, Mallet, and Zass. I believe Zot Notch is from the Minecraft guy and Ohm, Ohmricker. One of the, I guess, more prominent YouTuber Kickstarter backers. Anyway, so we're going to name, rename our human. Actually, let's see. I'm, 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 I'm just going to be, you're going to hear paper. There we go. I wrote it down. Okay, what do I want to call the human? Ah, oh, what the hell, it doesn't really matter. We'll call the human lung. That's the first one I've written down. I just thought of all the organs I could think of off the top of my head. And we'll call the mantis a liver. And then we're gonna call Chris Mallet here. Heart. And Zas, our NG, the stomach. Alright, now, oh yeah, the weapon, <laughs> the weapon here, the best laser mark to a really, really good weapon. It's great to have that. We're a little underpowered though, we need something else though to uh, kind of balance the act a bit. So what about this third achievement here? While using the Federation Cruiser, use your crew in four special blue event choices by sec to five, halfway through the game. Even at one blue choice a sector, that is still still pretty optimistic about getting there. That's all about luck, I think. Now these other achievements here, Master of Patience, use the artillery beam to destroy an enemy ship while taking no hull damage. Pretty easy if they've got beam weapons. Just sit there and let the thing charge up. Artillery Mastery, get to sector 5 without upgrading your weapon system. Yeah, that, that's where you want to upgrade that pretty early on to do a lot of damage. And your shields and engines to avoid uh, all the hits. Alright, but we're pretty much ready here with the organ. Not that it actually looks like an organ, I guess it kind of looks a bit like a wishbone. Is that an organ? Close enough. Let's go. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. Back into the exit beacon before the pursuing rebels can catch up. <gasps> Tip death. Remember, losing is part of the fun. No, I, I, I'm serious. Dying is all cool with this game. <laughs> All right, well, we'll leave lung and the helm there, liver. We'll send you to the weapons room because you're a mantis and mantis like weapons. Heart, you can be our shield man. And we'll leave our NG stomach on the engines. Well, actually, no, I'm going to change my mind here. We'll leave the rock man in the helm just because he moves so slow. I think we'll actually know. Uh, I'll change my mind again. We'll leave the human in there, and then we'll leave the NG in the shield room because if they need to do any quick repairs, we can move the NG around. 
to any part of the ship pretty quick there, which is cool. Get the burst laser online, depower the med bay, power up those engines. And we're pretty much good to go here. Alright, what kind of system or layout have we got today? Hmm, maybe something like that. We'll give that a shot. Up we go. Ah, oh, right off the bat, really? This beacon has been placed too close to a super giant class M star. The ship will gradually overheat until you get out of here or die. A pirate, apparently oblivious to the danger, moves in to engage. He's got a heavy laser, something else, and something else. We are going to take a lot of damage here. Alright. We'll have to focus on their weapons, I think with auto fire as well. We've got that artillery beam, so we should be pretty good. We might be able to dodge the first attacks if we're lucky. That's a bit optimistic though. Yeah. Sense is down immediately, that's okay. So we'll, we don't really need the sensors at the moment. It doesn't seem like they're on fire. Right, a solar flare's coming in. Get those weapons offline. Oh! They send a message. Well paused. I can't believe how well equipped... I cannot believe how well equipped your ship is. Please, take this and let us live. They offer us two missiles, a drum part, and a linen scrap. Hmm. That is not bad, considering how early we are in the game. We don't use missiles though, so... Eh. Not gonna accept. Why would we ever accept surrender? And eh, okay, our sensors are on fire, so... We'll get that under control. I'm not sure when that happened. Probably when the sun exploded. Oh, their shields are down. They're pretty much hosed. Right, their oxygen's down. It's, their ship's on fire. That's not good for them. Alright. We can see again. No more fire. Down they go without too much problem. We're gonna need to jump out of here pretty quick. But they explode, giving us two fuel, one drone part, and 15 scrap. That is a better deal, in my opinion. Considering what we're flying here. A distress beacon. We can't ignore that distress beacon, so we'll have to make a bit of a... have to sacrifice a jump later on. I think we got out of there just in time. You find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders! Let's send the crew to help immediately. Giant spiders are no joke. Their crew board the station, cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly a mad-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling, followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave before accounting for all members. Not everybody made it back. We lost the human. Big deal. We can live without the human. If it was the mantis or the rock, I think I would have been a bit depressed. Well, I guess I lost if I lost anybody but the human. A good time to lose the human. <laughs> but they don't have any special events anyway, so yeah. You come across a pirate in hot pursuit of an unidentified ship. You quickly receive a transmission from the pirate. Stay out of this fight, and we'll make it worth your while. They offer us a missile, a drone part, and a living scrap. Well, they've got a heavy laser and a rocket. We, can, we should be able to take them on, but they've got a teleporter as well. Oh, we should be okay. Right, we've got the mantis here. Let's attack. The pirate ship stops its pursuit and locks weapons onto us. Uh-oh. Well, another thing is that we normally are able to take down ships before our artillery beam even powers up. So, where are they going to go? Okay, he's probably going to attack the artillery beam. Oh, well, the engines. We'll have to send the Mantis in pretty quick there. Protect our evasion chance. Oh. At least he attacked his own man there. Alright, their shields are down. I mean, their weapons. Okay, that, there's a hull breach. Okay, we'll have to get the Mantis out here pretty quick. Let's attack... We could attack that. Let's attack that. So we can't escape. Uh, yeah, we'll just leave him in there for a second. Power up the med bay. Fine. Our previous offer was not generous enough. Let's improve it. They offer us eight missiles, two drone parts, and nine scrap. Ooh. So you'd be losing out on a lot of missiles there, and if we came across one of those events we can sell the missiles, it would make it worth it. I think this deal has saved them. That is a good deal on missiles right there. Okay, well, he's out of there. <laughs> Alright, we'll get a liver back to the weapons once he's uh, powered up there, and then we will 
get this room all sorted. Okay, stomach needs a bit of healing as well. How are you doing, heart? Okay. Yeah, we'll get them in there to re get our engine in there to repair. Kind of want to get him on the repair skill. You don't get any repair skill for uh, repairing the, the hull, by the way. Interesting little fact. Still suffocating. Gotta let the oxygen flow back in there. There it goes. Alright. Artillery beam nice and charged now. Not that it matters. Now we'll get this guy healed up. Back to the shields. Turn off the med bay and get out of here. Pretty quick. Alright. That's looking good. Still don't have enough scrap to really, uh you know, get any upgrades or anything. We're in a civ quote unquote civilian sector, so probably two or three stores around. Probably down the bottom though. Once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings! A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools and they have tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational and you move in to attack. Okay, they can get through our shields with that and obviously the uh, rocket ignores shields altogether. I'm going to try and get those weapons down as soon as possible. Not going to be able to do it before the burst laser fires, so we're just going to have to get a bit lucky here and hope the missile dodges us. There it goes. It was an Artemis, so... Oh, okay, well, we can invent that pretty easily. Also, our artillery beam's down, so... Oh, we should be able to defeat them before the artillery beam even fires, so no big deal. Alright, come on. Come on! <laughs> Oh, oxygen's down, we can't ignore that one, so... Alright, well we missed one shot, but that doesn't matter too much. Get that oxygen back online, guys. Close those exterior doors, and I guess while you're about, we'll, uh... Get that thing all charged up and ready to go. They're pretty much sitting ducks at this point. They don't seem to have that much evasion, so... Just keep pummeling their weapons just to keep that rocket offline. There it goes. Ooh! Dang it, it's going to be out of fire before we can take down the weapons again. That rock, that rock is a pretty good repair man. Come on baby. Ah, uh, okay. Wow, they must have both of them in there repairing that thing. For it to be going so fast. And down they go. With the pirate ship destroyed, your engines come online again. You salvage what we can from the debris, namely six fuel. Nice! And 19 scrap. Beauty! How much is level 2 shields going to cost us? 90 scrap. So, okay. Ooh, where do we want to go now? We've got plenty of jumps left, so we could try and hit the nebula. Ooh. We'll try that. We'll try hitting the nebula. You never know, there might be nothing there, but it'll slow down the rebel fleet a bit. You recognize the ship as a well-known slave trader. He hails you and offers you laborers for cheap. We can buy one for 42 scrap. We can attack or ignore the slaver. I know that if we attack, we'll get a crew member, and we're down a crew member, so... Yeah, we're of course going to attack. They can get through our shields and do a bit of damage if they sink those correctly. That's probably not going to happen for a while, though, so we may be in the clear for a while. Nonetheless, attack those weapons with our burst laser. And hope that artillery beam charges up a bit quicker. Oh, of course, there's a fire. Alright, we'll fix that with our door system. Okay, that beam's down, which is good. Of course, their first attack is synced correctly. <laughs> right, the, that fire is out. And that laser just doesn't want to go down. That's okay, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've caught the uh, the guys that really want their weapons online. Uh, sh level 2 shields at this point would definitely seem like a an attractive thing to get. We surrender. Take one of our slaves as tribute. If you destroy us, they'll all die anyway. Let's accept and get a rock man. Well, better than nothing. Okay. And back to the nice friendly music. A store? We can hit the nebula now, but... Hmm... Yeah, let's hit the store. We have enough scope to buy... something. A little something. A ship engineer has set up a small shop. Ooh, another Mantis would be great for a crew teleporter, but... 
No, we don't have anything to sell. We could sell that, get crew teleporter. Ooh, that would be an interesting way to play. But the burst laser 2 is too good of a weapon to just sell. Uh, yeah, why not, seeing as the repairs are so cheap. And we're okay on everything else, so let's just leave these guys in the dust. Let's keep me going. Oh, of course, an ion storm. We jump into a sector of the nebula beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout station that the beacon moves into attack. They've got their cloaking online and two weapons. Really? Okay, uh, we need to get those shields online. We're going to have to sacrifice that. Maybe not. Hmm. Because I want to be able to power the shields and also do damage. This costs two power, which we can't really afford to at the moment. The oxygen. We're going to keep the oxygen online for a while anyway. How about... Could turn the oxygen off. Yeah. Yeah, let's turn the oxygen off and attack them into weapons. Well, thankfully they were synced off just enough. That was a lucky hit there, so we're slowly suffocating, but hopefully we can finish these guys off. Okay, those weapons are down. That's good. We'll get that oxygen back online. And yeah, get the artillery beam, of course. We should be good now. Just let the oxygen charge up and that artillery beam is going to take forever. Okay, well, we'll just use the time to get some more oxygen and then we'll, uh, we'll get ready with the burst laser 2 again. Alright. Let's... what do we attack now? That cloaking. <laughs> cloaking on these drones is always annoying because they can just dodge your attacks. Or your weapons don't charge up, oh, man, that's annoying. And down they go, hopefully. Yeah, buddy. Look at that debris. The ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, a drone part, and 12 scrap. I like to see that mob blowing up. I right, get, get that oxygen back along pretty quick. Need to put some in the engines to get out of here. Wow. How many jumps is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We'll probably don't have 6. Okay, we'll jump up here then. We definitely don't have six jumps in us. Maybe five, we'll see. There is a single ship at this beacon. They hail you. I could really use some help. Uh, FTL, well, I guess it's a rock ship. We could really use some help. Oh no, FTL navigation system is shot. Can you help us get to our nearby station where we can patch us up? Of course. They give us two fuel and a quiz marker. Great. Oh. Great. Take this bit of fuel as a down payment. We'll be one step behind you following your jump signatures. Don't want to take any risks now, do we? We do not, sir. They give us the two fuel and that quest marker. It's right there. Hmm. One, two, three jumps. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, the exit's pretty far and that sucks. If it was here, the exit, that would have been great. Alright, so we pretty much have to head straight for the exit now. You escort the ship to the requested beacon. Much to your dismay, you are ambushed by a rebel ship. You walked right into their trap. Dang it. Those rebels. And their pesky traps. Alright. Again, not much chance to get through our shields. They could. Hopefully we'll get those weapons on offline before that happens. The beam drones are so annoying if you don't have any shields. Okay, hopefully we can time this good. Yeah. Alright, we're pretty much good now. Let's attack their helm. Whoa, okay, that's back online. They've probably only got one power in that. Yeah, they've only got one power in their weapons, so... Pretty much just got to keep attacking that to try and avoid taking damage as much as possible. Here comes the best laser again. Yeah, that's good. That is awesome. The beam laser can't do anything against our one shield. It's not getting as much scrap as I'd like at this point in the game. Well, of course, you know, in the earlier sectors you don't get that much scrap, but 
Please don't kill us. We'll give you everything we have. Namely, six missiles, a drone part, and ten scrap. Again, not a bad deal. I'm very tempted again to take this just in case we come across an, an, a missile thing, but I think we've got enough missiles for that event. So, let's try and get more scrap. Here comes the super beam. What did I tell you? What an amazing device. The ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, a drone part, and 16 scrap. Still pretty good. Hmm. Another store. Well, I don't need another store right now, so we're going to have to jump here and hope those connect. Okay, what do you got here, lovely planet? You come across a rebel automated scout ship pers pursuing a civilian ship. Weapons engaged. We are, of course, going to aid those civilians. You power up your weapons and engage the automated ship. Woohoo. Nice weapons. Don't hurt me. They're probably going to charge at about the same time there as well. Yeah. Alright, we took a bit of damage there. One damage. Okay, the beam's up. Not much of a threat. Yeah, with these ships here, the less systems they have, that basically means the more power that they have in their weapons, which tends to mean that they have really good weapons. Of course, the other good thing is that they don't have cloaking or shields. But yeah, more powerful weapons, not really good for us with our weak shield. Alright, down they go. What are you going to give us this time? They give us three fuel, one missile and eight scrap. That was pretty good. The civilians have wisely made a fast retreat while we distracted the hostile ship. I would have done the exact same thing. I don't blame them. Alright, we're going to head to that exit before the rebels get there. And let's see what we got. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, we can jump to the next sector. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are. <clears throat> Oh, I, I like this one because it rhymes. We don't know who you are, and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, we don't need any repairs, so we're going to save our money. Ignore that station and continue on to the next sector. So what do we got for this map? Rock controlled and an uncharted nebula. Hmm, so we're probably not going to unlock the Crystal Cruiser in this run, unfortunately, so... Hmm... Well, if I go this way, I won't have to go through any more nebulas, so if I go... Oh, there is a way to get through without using any nebulas at all. Yeah, nebulas aren't very good because they don't really have that many events. And it doesn't slow down the Rebels all that much. We're going to go to the Rock Controlled and hope that we don't get beat up too much. The Rock people have a particularly aggressive stance toward alien races trespassing in their space. You should tread carefully here. Awesome. Alright guys, so yeah, I'm just going to quickly pause for just a second to check the link through the recording. Be right back. Well, it's a bit long, but I think we can squeeze in this sector just in time. Well, this is an interesting layout. Kind of a, a nice straight ride down there. I've got a bit of scrap. I don't really need anything, though. I want to save my scrap for a hull. Hopefully we'll come across a weapon at some point. Also, blue events. Well, we have, a, we have two rocks. So let's hope we come across a blue event. All right. Let's go up here. What do we got? An asteroid field. Lovely. A rookie rock cargo ship has taken its orders too literally and took the most direct route to their destination. Right through an asteroid field. They're confused and fire wildly as we jump in. Alright, well their weapons can't get through our shields. But then again, we're in an asteroid field, so... Not good. <laughs> not good for either ship at this point. Okay, there's the shields are down. Not good. Their weapons are down though. If we take down the... Oh no. Great. Oh. Evil. Okay, we've got to get the NG repairing the weapons because that mantis is going to take forever. Come on guys. Alright, those are up. Let's get firing on their shields. We'll get stomach back to the shields. Stomach. Was it really a good idea to name the ship Organ? I tried to be original. I tried to be original with the names. 
Okay. Uh, oh, they, they take the doors out. Their weapons are back online again. The super beam's gonna come in and finish the job, hopefully. Let's see what it does. Oh, look at that damage. And that missile missed, thank goodness. They get taken out by a rock. They're rocks and they got taken down by a rock. And I clicked then very unprofessionally, I apologize. <laughs> they explode, providing us with two missiles, a drone part, and 20 uno scrapido. 20 uno scrapido. Is that the, is that the word? <laughs> Okay, now here's the thing about this, you can't actually click on there because we're in an asteroid field, but if I hit the hotkey, oh yeah, that's right. That's a bug that's going to get patched. <laughs> we'll take advantage of it while we can. Let's, uh, shields, shields, shields. Yeah, we need the shields, we'll be getting beaten up a bit. Alright, come on dude. Now we can pretty much fly around asteroid fields with impunity. Get those doors online! Uh, how we doing? 150, 150. Okay, the Mantis needs a bit of health as well. Come on, guys. Get that healing factor. Liver's up. Stomach's up. I don't remember these guys' names. <laughs> and let's go. Where are we going to head to now? Here? Doesn't seem like they would connect to anywhere, so we don't really have much of a choice but to keep going up. What do we got here? Pretty much nothing. You encounter a rock vessel in an attempt to open trading frequencies. But they take it as an act of cultural transgression and open fire. A bomb and a heavy laser. Down they go, those weapons as per usual. This burst laser is going to become very ineffective once I have two shields. We are definitely going to need to... Oh, what's the word? Fire? Fire? Yeah, yeah. Get another weapon. Could head to a store to get one, but don't have much scrap at the moment. I'm just hoping to find a scrap in space or something, you know. Or get given one, because, you know, you get given a lot of weapons. I had one run, what was it, the run before this one, when I was doing the Zoltan Cruiser. They gave me a glaive beam. I got a glaive beam. I think it's the first time I've gotten a glaive beam in this game. A really nice weapon. Hopefully we'll get to see it sometime soon. Maybe even in this run, who knows. Right, their weapons are online again, that doesn't matter too much. Their shields are down, their weapons are down, they're sitting ducks. In comes the super beam. What a show. Their ship explodes, giving us two missiles of drone part and a bunch of scrap, namely 25. Alright, well there's a store there. Let's see if we can scrounge a bit more scrap before we hit that thing. Even just a tiny little piddly laser would do. Maybe a little beam, who knows. As we jump in, a vast figure appears on the view screen. The rock captain rubs screen moss like appendage on his chin, and then orders his crew to open fire. What? So a guy rubs his chin and is just like, Open fire! <laughs> Rocket and a heavy laser, so down go those weapons. Alright, we can't ignore the oxygen, we'll have to get somebody in there to fix that. Their weapons are down. Let's attack something that they won't like, like the oxygen, to stop them attacking or repairing their weapons. Yeah, that gets some attention. Let's take out their helm and... Well, I don't think there's anyone in the helm at the moment, so they can't even dodge. Not a good strategic plan, guys. Get stomach back into the shield room. Their shields are down. They're pretty much in a very dire situation here. <laughs> Look at this. The super beam's just going to come in and completely decimate these guys, aren't they? Yeah, buddy. Down they go. Awesome. They explode and they give us two fuel, a drone part, and 23 scrap. Well, 50 scrap. Alright, well, let's head to that store, see what we've got. Also, a distress beacon there that we'll check out just after our shopping spree. The local rock settlements. Oh. <clears throat> With the local rock settlements so unwilling to trade with other life forms, an opportunistic mantis crew has postponed its pirate activities and set up a shop to catch any passing trade. Really? We trust the mantis? Alright, Steven Dengler and Monsvik, those guys must be uh, 
Kickstarter donated guys or something. Okay, well, no weapons, unfortunately. Do we have anything to sell? Still nothing to sell. Okay, hmm. Zoltan would be cool, but yeah. I guess if I was really serious about going for that achievement, I'd probably try and pick up the Zoltan. <laughs> I don't think I could sell some burst laser. Yeah, so that's obviously not gonna happen. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Why not? Uh, yeah, we're pretty much again doing well on everything else. Uh, how do we get more engine power? How much is that gonna cost me? 40? Dang it. Could have got some if I paid a bit more attention to my funding there. Could have gone out with 29 hull, that wouldn't have mattered too much. It appears that a stress beacon is coming from the surface of a nearby moon. Your senses are picking up a single life form. Well, let's take a look. You find a man living alone in a cave. From the appearance of his wrecked ship, it seems he's been here for many years. He looks healthy, but his mental state is questionable. Ooh. Do you want to bring him back? Because I know the uh, the bad outcome for this is that he'll take down one of your crew. Uh, it would suck if it was the NG or the Mantis, so I'm actually going to say no thanks. And carry on without that ugly man. Ugly. 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 <laughs> and we jump right into a star. Unusual solar activity in this region means you need to get out quick. The rock pirate nearby apparently thinks otherwise as they move in to attack us. Ugh. So they've got a beam and an ion weapon. We might be okay if this wasn't a sun. So let's take down their shields and hope they take a ton of fire damage. Oh yeah, if there are rocks in there, they're, they're actually immune to fire, aren't they? So if we need any fires put out anywhere near here, we know who to contact. Oh wow, that does two damage? Okay. Yeah, they took it out of shields just in time for that. Okay. Right. Well, we'll let the airlock take care of it. Their shields are down. Da -da 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 -da. Our fire is almost out there. It's spreading. Get that thing under control, boys. Their, their oxygen's down. They don't look like that. That beam harmlessly attacks our shield. It looks like their ion is not attacking fast enough to actually hurt us, so yeah, we're uh, pretty much safe here. Another fire attack. This time in that room there. Vent that out. They, the ship explodes, giving us three fuel, a drone part, and 21 scrap. I feel like I've been saying that sort of similar phrase for a, a couple of times in there. Well, let's get out of here while we can. Plenty of time, so we'll just... Hmm. 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 Do I want to go down there? Well, why not? Nothing really to lose. Except it's an asteroid field. Minute minute fishes. And the shields spark and crackle as they whip. Let me try that again. Minute fishes. And the shields spark and crackle as the ship jumps into the wake of a huge asteroid. <gasps> More asteroids follow, as does a lost and aggressive rock pirate ship. Oh man, again. Well, the last time it was a sun, this time it's a star. They're the same thing. This is an asteroid field, bird. <laughs> Alright, down goes the iron weapon before it gets a chance to fire. That's great. Their shields actually took a bit of damage there, from what I'm not sure. That's a very unlikely event to get attacked by two rocks so quickly. Unless we took out that year. So now they can't dodge. Let's take out the O2. <laughs> wow. See, surprisingly these rocks aren't actually very effective in asteroid fields. They're just like every other ship, really. They have a slight chance to resist damage, but that's about it. It'd be great if the rock ships had some kind of complete immunity to asteroids, that'd be great. The ship explodes, leaving behind a fuel, two missiles, and 17 scrap. Not very much. Well, we don't really have much choice. Let's jump into the... <laughs> On we go this way. 
they need to spin that scrap at some point. I want to save for a weapon though. You find a rock ship docked with a damaged mantis fighter. Before you have a chance to hail them, the ship moves into attack. Attack you and your registered teleporter symbols on symbol symbols. Teleporter symbols from the disabled ship, okay. They're using mantis tech to board us. Oh my goodness, okay, we're gonna need the mantis in there, of course. Uh why don't we try luring them to the meta bay? Let's open up all the doors except these ones and the med bay doors so that they head for the med bay. Alright, quickly boys. Meanwhile, we are going to attack their weapons to get that rocket offline. Of course it'd be nice to if I actually power up the med bay. Okay, those shield. I've only got one shield left, that's okay though. Ow. Took a bit of missile to the face there. Look, their missile's down, that's all that matters. These rocks are taking a beating. Oh, they're on fire! Excellent news for us. Let's attack. Aw, oh, dang it. Didn't switch in time, okay. Yet, yeah, even stomach's doing fine here. Liver, of course, doing a ton of damage to his competitor, opponent. And now he's free to help out the NG, stomach. Their shields are completely destroyed. Now, these guys can't teleport back, so these guys are going to get great experience for fighting from this. This is good. Alright, the rock ship moves into a defensive position and transmits a white flag signal. They seem willing to buy their lives. They're offering us two missiles, a drum part, and 14 scrap. I'm fine on the missiles and drum parts at the moment, but thank you guys. We're not going to accept your surrender. In goes the super beam and finishes the job. They explode and giving us three fuel, a drone part, and 20 scrap. A much better deal. Thank you. Now it's time to finish off the last rock. And our ship is free of enemies once again. I'm going to send these two to heal up, repair the shields. And then everybody back to their positions. Hopefully the oxygen will have gone up to an acceptable standard by then. Apparently not. I think I might just make a really quick cut here, just let the oxygen go all the way up to 100%. So be right back. Oxygen's at 100%. Close those doors. I put some power back to the shields, by the way. And let's keep, keep on a trucking here. Head to that exit beacon, baby. You notice the rock ship performing combat exercises. However, they quickly change their course to engage our ship. Apparently they treat unregistered alien ships as handy target practice. Unregistered? We're the Federation, baby! The only unregistered thing on this crate is the artillery beam. I think it's great. I should have named this the wishbone. <laughs> La Jorgen is a, an okay name. So what did they have? Single laser and weapon. Oh, so this is one of the first ships we've come across that can't do damage to us. That's great news. Down go them shields and they are starting to take notice of that damage. They're moving around, I can see the doors open and... Oh, one weapon's online. What on earth are we gonna do? Keep on taking them shields, please. Pause and music. You're probably going to get engines as well. There's so many things to get. I think the most impressing issue at the moment is a good weapon. Something to complement that would be great. The ship explodes, leaving behind one fuel, one drum part, and 18 scrappy doors. <laughs> oh, a couple of them are just a bit of a term that I really like. Hmm, plenty of jumps left. Ooh, that's a nice one. Holy crap! A missile! A weapon is just floating in space! And 13 scrap. That's a hull missile and that... Does, what, 2 damage and... Ooh! Two da times 2 damage in systemless rooms. That is good! That is really good! How much is that going to cost to get online? 50... So around a little over 100. Okay. Would that be worth it, guys? Yeah. Here we go. That's okay. 
Maybe the artillery beam as well. That's going to cost 30 to get up. I want to get that as well. Another 60 scrap. Probably not going to get that before the end of this sector. Bit of French and Espanol in this episode. It should us. Good sir. Seems you're having some troubles with the rebels. I'd like to help you, but I can't afford the upkeep required on the song of Jungam Flying. Maybe we can come to some sort of arrangement. <laughs> ah. Well, we're pretty much hosted at, at the moment for uh, the places we can jump to, so. No thanks, guys. Let's fight those guys. Mercenaries are worse than the rebels. The only honorable course is to engage the mercenary in battle. As awesome as it would have been to actually employ these guys, yeah, as I said, we're not really in a position at the moment to do that. Well, we don't really need to waste our hull missile just yet, so we'll save those missiles. We're probably going to need them. Foreshadowing. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so they can get through our shields if they sink them correctly, but that's probably not going to happen because our burst laser's taken those weapons down. And a beautiful miss. Excellent. Alright, one damage. One damage? Two damage. Alright, here comes that heavy laser back online again. See if we can get that burst laser too off before they fire. Yeah. They've only got two damage left. We could attack them with the hull missile, but it's such a... It's a yeah, it's a waste and it might miss. And the final attack brings them to shreds before the artillery beam fires up. The ship explodes, leaving behind a missile, a drone part, and a tono ante scrap. Yeah, so we can't jump to any other system from here, so employing the mercenary would have not really done anything for us. You've arrived at the Long Range Beacon. When the FTL drivers charge, we can jump onto the next sector. The ship refueling station is at this beacon. We can purchase fuel here. Well, hmm. See, getting more fuel is always better, but we are doing okay. Plus, I want the scrap for other stuff at the moment, so we are going to ignore this. As awesome as getting the fuel is, uh, the scrap mean is more important to me right now. Alright, so let's jump onto that next sector. We can go to the energy controlled sector or the Mantis Homeworlds. Unfortunately, because I'm an idiot, we have to go this way in order to avoid nebulas. So onward to the Mantis Homeworlds. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> You're into the poorly charted area of space that's known to be home to the Mantis. And sure your whole plating is up to scratch and you have enough fuel in the tank to make it through. Thank you for watching this episode of FTL with the Federation Cruiser Type A. My name is Birdtross and I'll see you in the next episode where we take on this sector and hopefully many more.